Okay, hello guys. So Carolina told me that we should continue with the unit uh, about the geosphere, specifically the minerals. I am going to start all over from the beginning because I don't really know how much uh, do you know about this. Okay, so let me do a little video and you can watch it over and over again if you have any doubt. And of course, if you need anything, you can uh, send me an email. So, wait, sorry, this is not the unit. This is the unit. So what are the contents? What are we going to learn in this unit? First of all, you need to know the definition of the geosphere. I hope that you have an idea and you already know that it is the layer of the earth that is made up of rocks. We have the atmosphere, which is the layer made up of gases. We have the hydrosphere, which is a layer made up of water, etc. In this case, we are going to focus on minerals and rocks. Minerals and rocks are building up the geosphere. Okay? Good. Now, the relief. And types of relief, uh, we are not going to go deeper on this part because I think that you study that in geography. So, as we, have, as we are in a hurry, we will just see a few things about this. Now, really, really important, and this is always a question that is going to appear in the exam. Layers of the geosphere. Okay? What are the names of these layers? Where are they? What are they made up of? Uh, what is its physical state? Okay? ¿Vale? Las capas de la geosfera. Sus nombres, donde se encuentran, de qué están hechas, su estado físico. Súper importante. Now, what is a mineral? We are going to understand what really is a mineral. Okay? In a scientific way. And finally, the properties of minerals and the minerals we use. This is uh, your little presentation. Okay? You were supposed to, to do that. So I hope that once I explain this, you are uh, familiar to these questions. So now, remember, the geosphere is just like this. Okay? Maybe you have uh, eaten one of these during Christmas holidays, and the geosphere is something close to this. Okay? Of course, it's a, it's a sphere with a uppermost uh, layer, which is... Well, it's not crunchy, but it is known as the crust. Underneath the crust we can see the mantle, which is plastic. It's not solid, it's not liquid, it is something in between, like Nutella. Okay? And finally, just at the bottom of, or at the center of the geosphere, we can see the, the inner core, which is solid. Okay? Uh, well, probably you are thinking, how do we know that if no one ever have uh, gone so deep on the earth? And well, this is something that you will understand in fourth grade. So you will have to wait a few years and right now you just need to, uh, to trust me. Okay? This is what I was uh, telling you before. Geosphere. Okay? This is the definition. You should uh, know this. And you should remember that there are several layers that are building up the Earth, okay? The biosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and geosphere. We are here, okay? Made up of rocks and minerals. So, this is the relief. We will study... Again, sorry. We will study types of relief. I am not going to explain this here. And I am going to go back to the layers of the geosphere because this is super important and I want you to start studying that, this, okay? So the uppermost layer and the thinner one is known as crust, corteza en castellano, okay? Yes, so this is the crust. Underneath the crust we can see the mantle. The mantle is huge and it's not uh, solid at the crust, it is plastic. I insist, it's not liquid, it's not solid, it's something in between, ¿vale? Como la plastilina, como el play -Doh. And right at the center of the geosphere we have the core, but the core is uh, also divided into two layers. The outer core, which is liquid, 
this is of course liquid liquid okay and then the inner core which is solid okay due to the high pressure okay and the core is mainly made up of metals such as uh, iron and nickel vale está hecho principalmente de hierro y un poquito de níquel también and the mantle is made up mainly of one rock which is uh, peridotite, peridotita, es un nombre un poco raro, pero hay que sabérselo, ¿vale? Crust, crust, the main rocks that we can find in the crust are granite on the continental crust, ¿vale? La en la corteza continental principalmente hay granito, and basalt, basalto, in the oceanic crust, en los fondos oceánicos, en el fondo del mar, ¿vale? Hay basalto y en los continentes granito. Por supuesto, es muchísimo más complejo que eso, pero vosotros solo tenéis que saber hasta aquí, ¿vale? Ok, so let's see another picture. Here it is quite interesting because we can see the layers of the atmosphere, ¿ok? This is something that I hope uh, you already know. And let's see the layers of the geosphere. Crust, again, which is making up the continents and the bottom of the sea, okay? Then underneath the crust we have the upper mantle and the lower mantle, okay? This is divided into two layers because they are not exactly in the same physical state. But for us, okay, mantle. Mantle, remember, is plastic and is made up of peridotite. And finally, we have the core, okay, which is divided into two layers, outer core and inner core. Why it is divided into two layers? I insist, because the outer core is liquid, okay, and the inner core is solid. So this is the first thing you need to know uh, of this unit, okay? I hope that you understand. This is why I show you this picture at the very beginning. Okay, and if you have any doubt about this, you can ask me next week. I will uh, post another video about minerals uh, coming soon. Bye bye!